Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you all sorts of holiday things that we have picked up recently. I realized when I was looking through all the bags of clothes that we have and bits and bobs for holiday that I didn't share a lot of the things that I bought recently for holiday. We're going to Brazil in a few days time. Two years since our last trip to Brazil and so we needed a lot of things and um, yeah, just thought I would share with you all the things that we've picked up. We also have a few big events happening in Brazil. So my sister has a wedding well she's actually got two wedding parties in different parts of the country so that all the family can go to so we have two weddings to go to and then Isabella will have a big first birthday party over there so I needed to get like some smart clothes and things like that uh, for me for the kids and I thought I would show you those things I also thought I would share things that I have bought to try and make it easier to travel with two kids um, in case you're planning a trip and you want to know what's out there and what you can find um, so yeah, I thought I would share those with you and I've got so much stuff in front of me I don't even know where to start. So I'm going to start with things for packing suitcases So I went on Amazon and I ordered two sets of these packing cubes So this one is for Isabella, this one is for James and what this does is just make your suitcase more organized. Last time we went, I had packing cubes as well and they were lifesavers because I kind of divided James's suitcase into sections like the sleep section, the daytime section, um, the swimwear section, and then that way I could just pick up what I needed. It was very easy to find anything that I wanted to find and I just needed to take out the relevant section. Um, but the ones that I bought last time, they weren't good quality and the zip broke on almost all of them. So this time I got one that looked a little bit more good quality. So we have a large one. So that one will probably go for like dresses because we have all the weddings to go. There's kind of like smart dresses that I don't want to crease. So I'll probably put all of her dresses inside there. Then there's another medium sized one, um, two medium sized ones, one smaller one, two smaller ones actually and then a tiny little one. So it comes with one, two, three, four, five, six um, packing cubes in different sizes and the same one on the blue one. I'm gonna leave all the links to everything that I mentioned in the description box below. The next thing I picked up were these stroller connectors and they are from a brand called Lionheart and I got these from Amazon and they basically connect two single buggies and make it easier to maneuver if there's just one person maneuvering it. Now the reason why we're doing it like this instead of getting a double buggy is because I find that sometimes Isabella is asleep in the buggy and if we want to keep her asleep we need to keep James away from her because otherwise he would just be so loud that he'll wake her and vice versa and other times it's just easier to take one to do one thing and the other one to do something else. But then we are quite conscious that there's just Matthew and I traveling with two kids and then he might have his hands full with suitcases and case trolleys and things like that and I'll have to push both buggies. So this doesn't replace a double buggy but it makes it easier to connect the two buggies together just so I can maneuver them with ease. And that's why I got them and you can see there on the box what they do. So the connectors go in three points. So one at the bottom there at the front the other one at the back and then the other one at the top. So I thought I'd try these, see if they work. If they do, it will be a lifesaver and we'll still have the flexibility of having two separate buggies, but then be able to push them together as one single buggy if we need to. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to try these. I did go against my own judgment thinking I should just get one double buggy, it'd be so much easier but then we just couldn't bring ourselves to do that because we know how many times when we have the double buggy that we wish we only had a single buggy. A lot of the times James can walk in any case, so uh, we can just fold his buggy and put along with the cases. But then other times he wants to go in a buggy and if he wants to have a sleep, he has a place to sleep. So that's why we got this. Next, I've got a few dresses of mine to show you and ask for your opinion on what do you think because I'm going to try them on and show you what they look like on. Like I said, I've got two weddings to go to. So my sister's having one wedding up north and then one wedding down south so that both families can make it to the two weddings. And they are going to be quite informal ceremonies in any case. Um, so the first dress that I went for is this one here. It's kind of like a blush pink colour. Um, more like a nude than blush pink colour with this see-through uh, mesh detail at the top 
and then it goes on all the way down the bottom of the skirt with the mesh detail and then the lining on the inside and then it has this little belt around the back that ties up in a little um, bow and the back of it is just a zip that goes across the all the way down the back um, so this is one dress for one of the weddings. The second dress is totally different and I went for this black and white dress with this kind of Japanese flower detail and it's got this pleated skirt um, all the way down to the bottom. So the other dress comes up to just below my knee. This one is a long dress that goes all the way down to my, um, to my ankles. It's quite long and flowy but then it has these nice sort of quarter length sleeves and it's almost off shoulder style. I bought them both from House of Fraser and um, this one is by Coast, the black one and the other one, let me just grab it here, this one is from phase eight. The third dress I picked up is for Isabella's first birthday party and it's this one here and this is a little bit darker than I wanted. I wanted something lighter, but then I tried this on and it fitted so, so nicely. Um, this was from Outfit and the brand is called Billy and Blossom and this is from their Petite range. This is a shorter dress. This only comes up to um, my knees and it just fitted really, really nicely. I like the print. I like the way it looks and the fact that it hides <laughs> my tummy area quite well it's not as obvious you know around the tummy area because of the print as well and the darker colors um so yeah this was the third dress and then i've got a fourth dress so i want your opinion which one you think i should wear for isabella's birthday party if it should be this one or this one so this is a navy dress again it comes up to my knees the top is kind of like a silky detail and then the bottom skirt is lace. It has a little belted little thing around the waist and it's just really pretty and flowy. It's less detailed than the other one which is why I thought the other one would be a better choice because it's just a little bit fancier with the print and all but I'm not sure. What do you think? the blue lacy one or the flowery black one. Next I've got some smart clothes for James and Isabella. I don't know if I've showed this already but if I haven't then here it is. So this is Isabella's dress for one of the weddings. This is from Next and isn't this just the most beautiful dress that you've ever seen? At the back it has this pink bow and the material is just so luxurious and it's sparkly, flowery, it's just gorgeous and I love this. The other dress for the other wedding is this one here which is the pink, uh, satin pink sparkly dress and this was also Isabella's birthday party dress here in the UK and this also ties up in a bow at the back. It's undone because she's worn this once but it comes all the way down there and it has a little bow there and this has a little Peter Pan collar it's just so gorgeous like you can't really tell how sparkly the skirt is on camera in real life it just looks a lot more um, alive and prettier I fell in love with this dress the moment she tried it on even more than the other one but then a lot of people seem to like the other one more than this one so that's her two dresses for the two weddings and then this third one, I bought it for the birthday party. Now, after I bought it, I was like, this doesn't look as special as the other ones. And I don't know, maybe something is missing, like a belt to make this a little bit prettier. What I like about it is the colors because her birthday party is gonna be um, pink circus, like a vintage pink circus theme. And it's all these pastel colors which match the dress. And so I thought it was just the perfect, like, match for the birthday party. It has like silver shimmer running through it. I just thought it was really pretty but I do think something is missing and I want like something nice around the waist just to cinch in. Maybe something else like my mum said maybe add a little tutu skirt underneath just to make it like a bit puffier and pop up a bit more. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Do you think this is worthy of her first birthday party or do you think it's just a little bit meh? Um, so these are Isabella's clothes. Now onto James's clothes. So this is James's first outfit. He's got a little waistcoat in this like dark 
charcoal grey bluish colour with a long sleeve white shirt and trousers. It comes with these little suspenders or whatever they're called and a little bow tie. How cute is the bow tie? Um, and this was from Next. And then today I went to Primark and I found this, <laughs> which obviously is not the same quality as this. You know, I can tell just by looking and by feeling that this is a lot better quality, but then it reflects on the price. Uh, but you know, you can't really um, go wrong with Primark. So this is like a short sleeve top because there is summer, it's gonna be really hot. It has a little pink bow tie and smart trousers and this was 14 pounds for the whole four piece set. So these are all the smart clothes that we picked up and now I'm just gonna show you like some random bits and bobs of clothes that I picked up for the kids. So for swimwear, Isabella has this little sun um, protection suit. It is so cute, polka dot pink with like flowery details and it's polka dot at the back. And these are great. Last time we went with James, we took these and it kept his body protected because they have um, SPF built into the swimwear, UPF 40 plus, and it comes with a little matching hat, which protects not only their head, but their neck as well, because it goes all the way down the back. And then James has this one here, which is red, um, blue and green. And his little hat is green, which matches um, the top. For towels, beach towels, the Bella has this pink stripy one with a hood and it also has a little button on the side. I think this is a great idea. We have a few of these towels for the kids, you know, with the hood and stuff like that. Um, but then sometimes, because this is open and if they don't have anything on, all their bits are exposed. But with this, if you do up the buttons, it's like a proper little dress. For them and James has a little blue and white and red one in a bigger size. Um, Isabella has this little denim skirt from Next and she got this from her grandma for her birthday. How cute is this? It has two little pockets on the side and elasticated waist. And this is James's outfit for Isabella's birthday party. I just went for something quite traditional for him. So he has little smart shorts, gingham style, I think, detail. And then he has a stripy white and navy blue uh, polo t-shirt. I think it looks quite smart, but at the same time, nice and cool and casual and easy for him to just run around and play as well. Um, and then Boots had this deal for these little polo t-shirts and it was three for 13 pounds. So I got a yellow one for James, um, a green one and a blue one. Where's the blue one? That's the blue one. Isabella also got this lovely little white and blue dress from her grandma. And this was from Next as well. Yes, from Next. Next has the cutest baby girl and boy clothes. Every time I go into Next, I spend a fortune. <laughs> and then also this lovely little dress, which is similar to the previous one, but this is all stripy blue and white. And then grandma also spoiled her with these denim shorts, which are cute as can be. That's another little dress from Next. I think they were a pack of three, um, the two ones that I showed you before and this one. Um, and I love this pattern. It's just so bright and fun and summery. And the last things I picked up was today in Primark. I just spotted a few things that I needed. I got Isabella these white shorts. Um, and they have this little crochet detail on the legs here on both sides, which are really, really cute for baby girls. And these are just normal cotton material. This one has flamingos on the front and this one is just plain blue. Um, then I also picked up um, one pair of these soft jeggings because I think they'll be cool for traveling. I also got her this little two piece set with a long sleeve, kind of like a thicker jumper. This is not for holiday, but I just thought it'd be nice for her to have it. And it comes with another little denim uh, trousers thing. I'm obsessed with denim for little girls. She's wearing one today and she's so cute. And if I have a photo, I'll post it here for you to see because I was just obsessed. And then I also got her these mint green um, jeggings. <laughs> They're really cute. They have pockets on the back and yeah, just everything is so cute for children, isn't it? I also got James some shorts. The first one is these denim shorts and they have like kind of the long leg style, which is really nice. And then I got him these chino style shorts and a couple of packs of swim shorts. So stripy blue and lime green ones. And then this rainbow blue 
and plain blue one. Rainbow blue? Rainbow colours and blue. And I almost forgot to show you something really cool that I picked up for James. So this is a Paw Patrol ready bed and it's like a sleeping bag for toddlers but it's a proper bed. I don't know if you can see there. It has the little head protection around the head so if you have a young toddler who still rolls around a lot it protects them from falling and then you inflate the bed and it has like a little pillow built in. I'm not doing a good job at describing this but I think you can see what I mean. Let me show you the back as well so you can see there. We have a bedroom that we're going to be sleeping in at my mum's house in Brazil um, but then I want James to sleep in his own bed but I just didn't want him to sleep on a mattress on the floor. I don't know why I just felt like he's going to be so vulnerable on the mattress. I don't know, I just had this crazy thought that I wanted him to be like enclosed in the little bed. I don't know, it might be completely unsuccessful um, but I just thought I would try this. Um, and yeah, so it's just inflatable sleeping bag. It comes with a pump so you can blow up the bed and because we're going to be traveling a lot in Brazil as well I thought he can take that with him and he can sleep in that bed whenever wherever we go it's not too heavy either for our suitcase which is great and yeah so we got this from Amazon so I think that's everything I've got so much stuff here on my feet <laughs> this in my office here is like the dumping ground for all the holiday stuff so pretty much everything that we're going to be taking on holiday is here uh, so yeah I hope you enjoyed this crazy haul of all sorts. Let me know what you think about the dresses I mentioned, whether or not you like the uh, blue lacy dress or the flowery black dress for Isabella's birthday party for me. And if you think the blue pastely colours dress for Isabella is good enough for the birthday girl at her birthday party. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, I would love for you to subscribe so that you don't miss my future videos. It's completely free to do so. All you need is an email address and you'll get notified when there's a new video from me. I'm gonna be posting lots of videos on traveling with children, uh, what we're gonna be packing in our uh, carry-on case on the plane, our travel essentials, and I'm also gonna be doing vlogs of our trip to Brazil, so if you want to see all of those make sure you're subscribed to my channel I just wanted to say a quick thank you to everybody who subscribes and watches my videos comments it means the world to me I have just recently hit 90,000 subscribers which is incredible and I'm ever so grateful and thankful for all of you who watch my videos um, so yeah I hope you're having a lovely day and I'll see you all in my next video bye